Yeah, so chrome is a quite a diverse group. There's quite a few different species of chromis and also many damsel species confusingly are often labelled as chromis as well which can be quite confusing. Now a lot of chromis species are very aggressive, things like the blue roof chromis from the Caribbean, the half black, half white chromis that you get which are actually a damsel species from the Western Indian Ocean for example. So in this video we're going to concentrate on just the standard green or blue chromis that you see most commonly. Now, the green and blue chromis are actually the same species. One colour form comes from the Pacific and one comes from the Indian Ocean. But they are the same species and they can be mixed together quite happily. It's best to keep chromis in larger groups and the reason for this is because the dominant male really needs another male to square off against. If you've got a larger group of say 7 to 10 chromis, there's a good chance of you getting 2 or 3 large males and they will spend all day competing with each other for females and lock drawing and doing one another activity and, can, and spend all the time doing that leaving the smaller males and the females to their own devices. However in small groups it's very possible to get a very highly aggressive male with no one to keep them in check who will often pick off the rest of the shell one by one or start with the smallest and working their way up. A lot of places will recommend a minimum of five promise but actually getting two decently sized dominant males out of a group of five, you have to be reasonably fortunate. Or getting a group of all females, again you have to be reasonably fortunate. I'd recommend getting a group of seven to ten. Um, it's mu you're much more likely to get two dominant males in there and they do fantastically well. If you want to get really good growth on your phone, premise, I'd recommend feeding feed frozen copepods and frozen cyclops. And you can also feed finely crushed flake, which can be done by an auto feeder as well. The chromis will grow really quickly, you can get them from under an inch to two and a half inches in about 12 weeks. And we have them frequently spawning here in the store under that feeding regime. They make a fantastic addition to the aquarium, but I'd say probably for aquariums 200 litres plus. They are very active and a group of seven or more chromis in a smaller aquarium is going to use up quite a lot of stocking space. And they eat quite a lot of food for their size, there's quite a lot of bioload as well. But in aquariums 200 litres plus, large groups of chromis look fantastic. And if you've got the space and the willingness to put groups of 20 or 30 in, they look absolutely amazing. Uh, they show like fox birds in the sky, and the light reflecting off all the scales and things is extremely attractive. Also make sure you check out our other videos in our Ask James series.